Mouse, the most powerful but useless tank of World War II. The Mouse tank is undoubtedly one of the most impressive and at the same time mysterious chapters in the history of World War II. Developed by Nazi Germany, the Mouse was not just a tank, it was a symbol of the ambitions and technological experiments of the time. It was the heaviest tank ever built, and its size and armament left a lasting impression on those who faced it. The Mouse project was launched in 1941 at the height of World War II when Germany was searching for new ways to overcome the resistance of the Allies. The task facing the engineers was ambitious, to create a vehicle capable of breaking through any enemy fortifications and withstanding virtually any shell hits. To achieve this, the engineers proposed a truly extravagant design, a tank weighing 188 tons with armor up to 240 millimeters thick. The mouse was equipped with a 128 millimeter cannon capable of destroying any tank of that time at great distances. However, in order to achieve this, a suitable running gear had to be developed that could not only withstand such mass but also provide maneuverability on the battlefield. This was a true engineering challenge. To allow the tank to move, the designers had to create a powerful engine and unique transmission, which in turn required the creation of gigantic tracks and reinforced wheels. The mouse was so heavy that powerful engines and specialized chassis were needed to ensure its mobility despite its colossal size. Its armor was so thick Thick that no existing shells at the time could penetrate it. However, despite its protection, the mouse tank faced several issues. One of the main problems was its mobility. Although the mouse was virtually invulnerable on the battlefield, its speed was extremely low and its fuel consumption was very high. Considering these factors, the strategic use of the mouse was heavily limited. The tank could have been the ideal machine for breaking through enemy defenses, but its enormous size restricted its combat effectiveness on the battlefield especially in environments where maneuvering in tight spaces was crucial. Ultimately, while the mouse was a symbol of Nazi ambitions for superiority in armored vehicles, it turned out to be virtually useless for mass deployment. Furthermore, the production of these tanks was so complex and costly that, in the end, they were never mass produced. Of the 150 planned vehicles, only two tanks were built and none of them participated in actual battles. Nevertheless, the mouse left an important legacy in tank development, showing how far the ambitions of Nazi engineers could go. The mouse tank was part of the grand ambitions that symbolized both progress and the limitations of the engineering genius of the time. While mouse did not play a significant role in combat, its design became a foundation for future military developments, even though the machine itself was never widely used. It did not show its full potential on the battlefield, but it was a technological breakthrough nonetheless. Few people know that this giant tank contributed to the creation of more effective and modern tanks, changing approaches to armor and design solutions. Despite its tremendous firepower and protection, the mouse was cumbersome and could not maneuver like smaller tanks. This was its main flaw. Its unrealistically heavy mass and enormous tracks hindered its movement in combat conditions, where speed and maneuverability often determine the outcome of battles. For example, the mouse could not effectively move across swampy terrain or weak roads. Its speed on flat terrain did not exceed 20 kilometers per hour, which made it an easy target in fast-moving combat situations. Situations. Nevertheless, its combat capabilities should not be underestimated. It is important to note that the mouse was equipped with a 128 millimeter gun, which allowed it to penetrate the armor of the most powerful enemies of the time. This cannon could destroy almost any tank on the battlefield from a great distance. However, even with such weaponry, its enormous size and relatively weak mobility made it vulnerable. The mouse was created to fight large enemy forces and breach defense lines by destroying crucial fortifications fortifications, but in the end its high production cost difficulty in operation and lack of maneuverability made it too cumbersome for the battlefield. Only two prototypes were built, and none of them participated in significant combat actions. Interestingly, one of the prototypes was captured by Soviet forces in 1945, and despite its heaviness and inefficiency, this tank became the subject of study and development in the USSR. In Soviet engineering labs, research was conducted, and while the mouse was not used as a model for new designs, its development helped improve improve the armor and firepower of future generations of tanks. At that time, the mouse symbolized not so much practical power as the ambitiousness of the Nazi regime in creating super-powerful weapons. Its existence showed that size and firepower are not always the deciding factors. 
Sometimes speed, mobility, and effectiveness in real combat situations are more important than all else. Interestingly, although the Maus was ultimately deemed too impractical for frontline battles, its project taught future generations of tank engineers the importance of finding the right balance between power and mobility, the key to success in warfare. It also became a milestone in tank construction, demonstrating that real combat characteristics are crucial, not just theoretical capabilities. Maybe the mouse didn't play the role its creators had hoped, but its story is still an important chapter in the development of military technology during World War II. And while it remains more a symbol of engineering ambition than a real fighting force, its existence still contributed to military history.